I like you. You smell like soap. I like soap. <laughs> yes, hi guys, it's Megan, and this is my newest briar, Fahrenheit. Uh, she's so cute. She's a cute little pony my sister got, and she actually, she wasn't going to give it to me, but I was like, you know, you love me, and she's like, yeah, so she gave me this guy in Indian Fahrenheit. He's a cute little pony. Uh, he came with this little halter, so I just kind of kept it on him, but he'll probably get a new halter, but yes, yeah, so that's him. He's so cute, and I just thought I'd show you guys with him, because I actually forgot to show you guys him, so he's him. So he'll be coming to breakfast with me. Yay. Okay, so I kind of just wanted to make a, another vlog, just showing you guys another thing, how I'm preparing for Briarfest. And the first vlog, I think, was about the website and me going on about something. But, <laughs> that's how all my videos are. But, yes, yeah, so I just want to start it off with showing Fahrenheit. And I also want to show you this uh, business card. You guys probably saw them if you went to Bay State, I believe it was. And, um, we, we had these. And, of course, we, we didn't really come prepared, like, with posters or anything to say, oh, here's Rocky Mountain Studios and... Plus, there were a lot of adults there, and they don't like buying off kids, or teenagers anyway. So, uh, I designed these cards, but when I designed them, uh, I didn't have a lot of time to really work on them, so they're kind of plain, but um, I am going to improve them. I'm going to put some more pictures on here and make it more colorful, not so lame like it is, but... Uh, uh, I don't re oh, I don't remember his name or oh, no. Ned Mints in Heaven, I think that's his name. Um yeah, there he is with his uh bridal. He's actually getting a new bridal, so yay. But um yeah, so this uh this car is gonna be updated and we will be having hopefully a mass number amount of these so we will be able to uh bring them to Briarfest and you guys can take them if you want. But yeah, nothing to be going on about that. Uh, alright, so a couple, well, before I get do this, let me just do this, okay, um, I want to show you guys these books, which I probably have shown you, I don't know, I have a bad memory with things, but, um, these are, like, breed books, and they're an awesome thing to bring to Briarfest or any show, and they're really helpful, they help you also pick out breeds for your horses, say you have, um, uh, I'll just use him as an example because he's right here, but, Say you have him and you're like, do I put him as a warm blood or do I put him as a Appaloosa? And you look up um, warm blood, I know this isn't a warm blood, but pretend it's a warm blood. And then you look it up and you say, oh, uh, blah, 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 oh, it doesn't match his description. So then you go to Appaloosa and you're like, oh, he does match the, the, um, the description more. So it's a good way to help you pick breeds for your horses if you're still confused on some of them. Um, cause usually, if it's made after a real horse, it's not always, um, the best option to go with the breed because most judges don't like that, but sometimes it works, just I know sometimes like a, with the Smarty Jones mold, they like to see the more quarter horses instead of thoroughbreds, so, you know. So yeah, so, judges, listen to judges, <laughs> but yeah, so, these books are always handy and they're also great to bring to Briarfest and just throw them on the table and here I have another one, which I, got this book for Christmas, I think it was, two years ago, or a year ago. So yeah, so these little books, but you want books smaller than a uh, page, breed description smaller than a page. That's that's something judges really look for. So next, I want to show you guys my breed book. This I bring to Briarfest, but it has to be more organized because right now it's kind of a mess because I usually have no time to clean up after shows, so I need to reorganize it. And we're gonna have, I'm going to have to mix it with Abby's anyway. So, because this year we're more prepared, so. Alright, so, so, okay. So, yeah, so you just, I have them separated by categories. This is stock, and then this is gated. I, I kind of, like, made them after, like, most of the shows that we go to, like, with what most of them would look like. So, yeah, here's draft. So, just goes on and on about all different things, and dividers are, like, your best friends, and these plastic sleeves are, are awesome awesome, awesome things. So you don't get your papers ruined when you put them with the model. So yeah, so that's that. And this is just a one, uh, one, one inch binder. That's all this is. Okay. And now this, 
I don't think I've ever shown you guys. I might have. I don't know. This is, um, I know it has breed descriptions, but ignore that. This is my placings book where all of my horses, except for a few because I haven't added them, are in this book. All of their ribbons are here. It is an awesome way to stay organized. And I'm not going to be bringing this to Briarfest because it's kind of pointless. I'll add my ribbons when I come home. But yeah. So this I wouldn't bring to Briarfest. If you do have something like this or if you want to start something like this, don't bring to Briarfest. But a brief description, uh, either a notebook like this or a one subject, a one note, oh god, one inch binder is a good thing to bring. Yes. Another thing I just bought, I went to Walmart the other day and I got this really cool notebook. Me and Abby both got one, so we'll probably be bringing this to Briarfest, and it's just, it's really handy to have a notebook around with you at all times, and pens and pencils, so a good thing to bring to Briarfest. But yeah, so this is just a couple of things that I'm going to be bringing, and it's, uh, it's, it's helpful, and hopefully you guys like these vlogs, <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I'm going to make more vlogs about, uh, like, the merchandise we're going to be selling uh, outside our hotel. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs, and thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye!